So I'm going to call. Thank you. Um, I'm going to call this uh, oversight meeting to order at 8.01 p.m. Uh, before we start, uh, I want to say that um, uh, we as professors uh, respectfully acknowledges that we are located on the traditional unceded territories of the Coast Salish peoples, including Musqueam, Squamish, Sotooth, Kukulam, and Katsi nations. Um, you guys already know, unceded means these territories have never been handed over, sold, given up uh, by these nations, and we are currently situated on occupied land. So nextly, I'm going to go over roll call of attendance. Um, so I'm just going to go down the list. Uh, firstly, mathematics, or um, sorry, um, if you could state your name, pronouns, um, and any access needs. Uh, so yeah, firstly, mathematics. Yeah, so hi, everyone. My name is Ben Tischler, pronouns he, him, his, and... All of my access needs are met, other than I am multitasking at the moment, and that's why Aaron is sharing today. Thanks, Ben. Uh, nextly, cognitive science. Uh, that would be myself. Uh, my name is Aaron, pronounce he, they. Um, access needs. Um, I am outside uh, right now, so you might hear some bird noises. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, nextly, communications. Hey, everyone. My name is Alan Ripke, pronounce he, him. And yeah, all my access needs are met. Uh, film or never mind. Sorry. Uh, history. Uh, hit the wrong button, but that's fine. Hey everyone, my name is Matthew Reed. My pronouns are he, him, his. I'm calling from the stolen and ceded lands of the Ketsi Bosonic, uh, Kwantlen, Semiamu, Stolo, and Coast Salish nations, and all my access needs are, net, are met at this point. Nextly, three point two. Uh, society staff. Um, administrative assistant. Simmer. Hey everyone, my name is Simmer, and I go by he, him, and they pronouns, and all my access needs are met. Thanks, Simmer. Uh, yeah, so next number four, consent agenda. Uh, so yeah, the motion reads, be it resolved to adopt the consent agenda by unanimous consent. Um, I'm, uh, is, is there any discussion on this? Uh, yeah, seeking unanimous consent. Uh, if you wish to dissent, please use the Zoom hand feature and I'll record your vote. If not, uh, we would move on. Yeah, so nextly, adoption of the agenda. Uh, so the motion reads, be it resolved to adopt the agenda as presented. Uh, may I get a mover? History. History moves. May I have a secondary? Matt. Communication. Um, I heard communications, so uh, communication seconds. Um, so yeah, is there any discussion uh, to this? And seeing as there is no discussion, uh, if you wish to dissent, uh, again, please use the Zoom raise hand feature and I'll record your vote. Seeing as though there's none, uh, the motion to adopt the agenda is carried unanimously. Um, so yeah, nextly, uh, number 11.1, uh, discussion items, review on the July 16th to 31st work reports submitted, uh, submitted by mathematics counselor Ben Tischler. Uh, so just as regular, bring up anything you may think needs correction or changes uh, on this executive work report. Um, so yeah, I will just go down the list. Uh, Matt, you're up on the list. Uh, a couple of things I noted from the specifically what was the the one that was in July work reports in July. There's a number of them that are not done. Uh, I think I noted that Abby's was actually not completed. Meanwhile, his uh, August work report has been completed, so I think that is something to make note of. Uh, something else I noted, primarily within Nikki's uh, work reports, is that she, as as we have asked execs in the past, to when there is no applicable next steps to just say not applicable within that section, just to make it look a little bit more complete, a little bit more full. Um, that seems to be lacking in Nikki's report. So that could be uh, beneficial. Yeah, uh, Ben, you're next on the list. Okay, Matt just actually mentioned a lot what I, of what I was gonna say, but um, yeah, the only other thing that I wanted to note are that on the VP events report, just filling out a little bit more detail on this July 21st staff meeting, 
on the VPUAA's report, just like filling in some of the total hours sections and adding a bit more detail under working groups. So, um, if there is no other discussion about the review on July 16th to 31st work reports, then I will move on to 11 point, sorry. Um, yeah, Matt, you're next on the list. I'm so sorry. It's just another thing that I wanted to add. Uh, I noted again that Judith is going over the allotted hours that she has for the two week period. As this is a very frequently occurring instance, I would like to suggest through email perhaps that she have her workload be redistributed or uh, another look should be taken at how much time she's spending on uh, specific aspects of her job. Yeah, um, I'm next on the list. Yeah, to respond to that, I was just wondering if um, we would like to include that in the email that we would sense just <laughs> just like hey oversight cares about your mental health <laughs> um yeah no um yeah ben you're next on the list oh sorry this was for the next item not for this item i had a joke i wanted to make on the next item. <laughs> okay no worries um yeah so um yeah, uh, so just for uh, regarding the review on 16th to 31st of July work reports, I would say we should send um, just a, a brief reminder um, about, I guess, like self-care, um, about, you know, exceeding hours, as Matt stated. Um, but yeah, moving on to um, item 11.2, review of August 1st to 15th work reports submitted by mathematics counselor, Ben Tischler. Um, so again, um, just bring up anything you may think uh, needs correction or changes on this executive work report. Uh, ben, you're up on the list. Yeah, so first on a bit of a humorous note, I would mention that a correction that needs to be made to Judith's report under the relevant strategic priority section of the BN on gaming lounge sponsorship item in the projects and events section. Evidently, the VP internal has misspelled signing as singing, as I don't believe the president and VP finance need to sing the memory express contract. Also, the VP finance, uh, just on his report, needs to correct polices to policies in the next step section of the August 8th governance committee meeting. And just to note, uh, there are still a few reports on this that are not complete yet, though I'm unsure about extensions at this time, uh, but a VP internal, VP external, and VP finance reports look all pretty much complete to me. And I agree, a general reminder is just uh, filling out the next step section with NA when there are no next steps is nice for completeness. Also to note this for the record, color coding reports is cool. Uh, uh, Alan, you're next on the list. Yeah, um, nothing really too much to criticize. Pretty much agree with what Ben said. Um, the only thing I thought that was worth looking at is that Ishana went like into three decimal points for all the hours. And I don't, I mean, yeah, it's great that she's keeping track of like every single minute, but I feel like maybe it'd be worth mentioning the email, just saying like, you can, you don't have to be as exact. Maybe that's too much work for her to count. Maybe it's a thing where she's just putting the numbers in, like coding it through Excel so that that sum just appears. But um, if that's not the case, and I feel like maybe she's working a bit too hard with the hour counts. Matt, you're next on the list. Uh, similar to what has just been said, like, um, for the most part, things were good um, with the work reports as far as I could tell. There were several instances, aside from just Ashana's work reports, though, um, going back to Nikki's, um, where there's just more information than is necessary. Um, like Ben said in the chat, one to two decimal points is usually sufficient. Something I also noticed actually a little bit more with this work report from uh speaking to nikki specifically there seems to be some absences of information like when describing like us the summary of the meeting 
I noticed that in a few instances that was actually missing or like the reason for the meeting, it was very bare bones and not helpful. Um, and then uh, once again, um, it'd be really good if we were like at least CC'd when extensions were provided for execs, because that, like, we don't need to be included in the discussion around it, but like, at least a notification would be helpful around it, you know? That's it. And you have a direct response? Sorry, I might be getting confused here, but I, I don't think Nikki has filled out her August 1st to 15th report. I might have blended the two because I looked at them, both work reports pretty close together. If that's the case, that's my bad. Um, and then uh, if that's the case, disregard what I said about uh, Nikki's work report for the uh, first to 15th uh, work report. Yeah, I am next on the list. I just wanted to re-emphasize um, like many have stated in the chat, um, the color coding, uh, subtle thing, but it does go a long way um, in terms of um, ease of access um, and access of, uh, accessibility and reading work reports. So yeah, just wanted to re-emphasize that color coding. Alan, you have a direct response? Yeah, like um, I, I also think it's a good way for execs to also organize their own work reports. It might give some a bit more organization for them, but I don't know the right way to say that without it becoming in a patronizing or condescending tone in an email. But I guess, yeah, we're, it's encouraging for both our reading and their own writing. Yeah, I am next on the list. Yeah, I would probably just recommend, um, yeah, just really general reminder in the email. Yeah, as Ben stated, OCO appreciates color coding. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's, uh, it's that's a nice way to frame it. Um, but yeah. If there is no other discussion on this item, then we can move on to our final item of the agenda. Uh, number 18, adjournment. Um, the motion reads, be it resolved to adjourn the meeting at 8.14 p.m. May I have a mover? Math. History. History uh, moves, and I heard math, so math seconds. Um, yeah, if you, uh, is there any discussion on this? If you wish to dissent, uh, please use the Zoom raise hand feature and I'll record your vote. Seeing as though there's none, uh, the motion is carried unanimously and the meeting is adjourned at 8.14 p.m. Thank you all.